Hello friends, uh, welcome back. Today we'll briefly talk about uh, various sources from where you can get uh, royalty free images for your websites. I found few comments uh, um, under my videos uh, related to this particular topic. Here is one question. Um, from where to use images of products for affiliate websites as photo is not available on royalty free website that's what it is the question is so typically what i suggest is there's the primary source i always try to get the images from amazon but not simple copy paste uh, you try to use the link directly from uh, amazon websites the way you can uh, get the link of the website to um, uh, attach to your product in the same way you can actually get the link directly to show the image as well so as far as possible use that that's risk free uh, you can amazon allows it but don't do a copy paste copy paste is not allowed uh, for amazon products but uh, showing the image using the direct amazon link is, is okay basically okay um, so that's the primary source but in case uh, if you have any challenges to use that for example uh, to use that Amazon link, you, you would have been already Amazon associate. You would have registered as Amazon affiliate. But in case if you are uh, started a brand new website and if you don't want to uh, sign up as Amazon associate till you get a recent traffic, still you want to display images. That's the situation where you want to uh, look for images for royalty free images. That's the case use case one. And the other scenario is where uh, you need banner images and maybe some other uh, images for related to some infographics and all those things for the, those situations from where you can for, get royalty free images is the question so let's uh, look into the some of the sources available uh, the one of the primary source that i use is uh, google itself <clears throat> but again there is a catch you, you cannot just simply uh, type for that image and then pick up that uh, let's uh, look at the process at least what i follow um, this is google.com just click on images now you type whatever you the image that you want to uh, look for maybe natural hair color styles let's uh, look at the images all these are the images now most of these images would be uh, copyright so you can't use them as it is but there is one option go to tools and look for user usage rights here okay third option here now click on this you will you will get five options no first one is not filtered by license that means everything will come second was labeled for reuse with modification that means you can reuse that image you can also make changes third one is labeled for reuse fourth one labeled for non-commercial reuse and modification that means you can do use this image but exclusively only for the non-commercial you can't use for your commercial websites last one is labeled for non-commercial reuse so that means almost uh, last option is more or less not useful because uh, it's exclusively only for non-profitable websites we are talking about making money here so ruled out second one is also uh, for non-profitable websites again gone uh, third one is label for use that means if you if you find a good image uh, that uh, you can directly use for example let's filter on that option so these are the images you can without any changes you can use it that's that's the third option the fourth this is the option that i normally explore this is the option where you can pick the image you can also make some changes and use it let's uh, pick that particular option now here are the images so for example let's look at this one this image so you can actually go here copy it and then uh, make some minor changes and uh, use it in your website so you need to uh, search a lot because most of these images here will not have a high quality so you need to look for the image that fits to your basically your requirement and then also look for uh, relatively high quality okay so also uh, before you use it i all always suggest go to this particular website and then read through uh, the terms of that particular website before you actually use it sometimes what happens is uh, there may be a possibility that these are appearing in google as uh, uh, reuse and all that but there may be some clause that are that is applied onto that that this you will have to give some credits and all that so always i suggest go to the website check it out and then only use it in though it is marked as uh, for 
reuse and modification please check it out once again that's my sincere suggestion okay so that's the best source and for you can search for anything more or less you will find for image for any topic but uh, you may not be able to find high quality image so you need to take that and then do some uh, modifications or hire some graphic designer to make some changes and give you unique images so that's the source one apart from this there are quite a few websites are available uh, which from where you can get high quality or royalty free images i will um, show you some of the website i normally use uh, one website we just saw now while clicking this particular um, image you saw something like pixels okay the website itself says that it basically stunning photos under public domain license so let's look at same thing uh, maybe natural natural hair color styles okay check it out and pick any of the image these are all will be typically normally very high quality images pick this image and then uh, look for uh, if you want to download and all that there should be some option uh, okay for this particular okay so this for this one you can actually save the here it is download original photo but then read through always always read through the terms if you read through be below this here it says cc0 public domain royalty free license free for personal and commercial use this is what you need to look for as long as this is uh, available for any of the image you can go ahead and use this particular image so don't blindly go to these websites and pick up the image and use it be just before using the image ensure for every image before you use even though it is published on the royalty free website check for this particular um, validation and then only go ahead and use it because once you uh, get into trouble it is going to be a long battle so you need to uh, spend a lot of energies to uh, defend yourself and all that. So as far as possible, try to avoid those situations. So this is one website. And the second website I extensively use is pixabay.com. This is one, one of the all-time favorites. So you can find a lot of beautiful images here. Uh, let's look at uh, natural color hairstyles. Let's see. So all these are images, uh, royalty-free images. Here I normally find very high-quality images. So let's pick one. Uh, this is one one of the such uh, image. And again, you have an option here for free download. But the most important thing is below that itself, you will find whether it is for free commercial use or no attribution required. See, most of the images here will be free for commercial use. But look for the second one. For some images here, the artist or photographer wants you to give an attribute. You can use it, but still um, there will they want you to link to basically that particular profile of that particular uh, photographer. So if you are okay with that, you can use it. Otherwise, you can skip that particular image and go for something else. So these are the two things that you need to look for. For this particular image, you can use for free for, um, for commercial use and no attribution required. Okay, this is one such site. And one more such site, uh, another beautiful site is pexels.com. This is another site, same same process. You look for maybe a, a natural uh, hairstyles. Let's see the images that will appear here in this particular site. So all these are images, pick any of the image and then uh, you will have an option here, free download again. So, but uh, check out somewhere you should be able to find uh, terms. Okay, here you have. So, free to use. And info, you can find uh, basically the source of that particular um, image. And if you see here, so free to use and no attribution required these are the two most important things that you need to look for so this is perfect uh, if you are looking for some image of uh, this kind you can go ahead and use it this is another beautiful site the other site is uh, unsplash.com this is a very high quality and especially if you are looking for some nature related and landscape kind of images this is the perfect website uh, so go ahead and search for it again natural hairstyle 
look let's look for images here are the images uh, pick up something okay and see here download for free uh, same you can find it here and you have info here click for info and then it will show you from where the dimension all those things are available here and uh, typically free for use is uh, that means already there are okay Okay, I think if you search in basically um, in terms of this particular website, you will be able to find in more in detail uh, if there are any other terms of conditions. So normally, some of the websites what they do is they combine all the terms and conditions under uh, their terms terms of use policy, and then uh, you can basically uh, they classify it uh, free for use means what and uh, attribution required means what and all that. So look for those two things <clears throat> exclusively search for is if attribution is required or not it is a free for use uh, when you are in commercial websites and then go ahead and use it so couple of other sites are like one is stacksnap.io uh, this is another website uh, but these are all the primarily the website that i use this is the one one website that i extensively use pixelbay.com and followed by uh, pixels for for some natural uh, nature related uh, um, images or blogs i normally go for unsplash uh, but otherwise these are all the sources but this is another uh, google is another important source where uh, i found i find lot of images for most of my blogs because uh, the blogs that i pick up is very niche and uh, sometimes i struggle to find those uh, images in the royalty free exactly the situation that this gentleman explained from where to use the images because those images are not available in royalty free websites so in those cases uh, typically i go for google and look for some image but then what i do is i i do have a, a freelance graphic designer so i give him these links uh, and then we'll ask him to make some changes and uh, create a unique image that's always a good practice uh, though it you need to spend little money in the beginning it will help you in the long run because uh, your website will stand out not only from the content point of view even from the images point of view because these stock images if you use as it is you will find hundreds of other websites also using the same image so uh, you may not you may lose the advantage of standing um, unique in that part for that particular topic when somebody searches for it uh, so take that why to lose that opportunity of course you need to little, uh, spend little money look for some uh, freelance uh, starter or fresh uh, graphic designer they will come for for very very low uh, cost and then uh, then create uh, unique images though you are using some of these uh, royalty free images make some changes give that uh, little unique touch and then use them in your blogs and website so that will give you additional opportunity to make your blog even more unique not only uh, not only from the content point of view even from the images and uh, total totality point of view okay so uh, that's all the inform uh, details for today uh, so hope uh, you like the video and uh, go ahead and explore all these channels and then uh, use as per your needs thank you very much for your time bye